Okay, Reggie, whenever we talk about uh, about data centers, we have to talk about the cost of powering these in terms of resources. We talk yeah. about power and, of course, uh, water. We've spoken to a number of data center operators in this part of Asia in the last couple of months, and they keep on saying, oh, you know what? Liquid cooling has already solved some of the issues and concerns about water constraints. However, we are seeing that water consumption for uh, these data centers continues to average around 5 million gallons of water daily. We're getting anecdotes of data centers in the United States putting sort of tremendous strain on resources there. Um, can help us make sense of this because I thought liquid cooling was supposed to solve the water that resource strain, strain questions that data centers have. Help us understand where exactly we sit there and is liquid cooling actually going to be effective because it's going to be important for India's own water security as well. Yeah, great question. I think liquid cooling is picking up. It is mostly the direct to chip cooling uh, technology in India, which will definitely pick up in India and other parts of the world as well as demand for AI workloads go up. So typically, uh, if you see a server rack inside a data center, which has an average power consumption of 10 to 25 kilowatts, up till that limit, I think air cooled systems are enough. But as AI workloads come into the data centers and the rack density, power consumption per rack, server racks goes beyond 50 to 100 uh, uh, kilowatts per rack. I think we definitely in the liquid cooling. Yeah, water will be a problem, but I think government has been supportive in that. Uh, water data centers are certainly water guzzlers, but I think liquid cooling, it's basically uh, uses a type of lubricant in that, a, a different kind of liquid, which is oil-based liquid for cooling mm -hmm. systems. It has a good promising future now. I think most of them, the direct-to-chip and uh, yeah, the uh, kind of uh, the direct to chip and the uh, traditional liquid cooling will uh, definitely gain more and more precedence. Uh, immersion cooling as a technology is still early days, I think. But I think the as enterprises are gearing up to deploy more and more AI services, both in public cloud and in co-location data centers, we will definitely see more and more uh, liquid cooling. But right. in terms of cost, I think the power is another very important uh, aspect. Uh, most of the data centers are going the renewable energy uh, pathway and uh, looking to be completely running on renewable energy by 2030 or 2031. Yeah, but I mean, guess uh, I guess my question, Rajiv, with regards to water is that 5 million gallons of consumption a day, can we see this actually decrease as liquid cooling and some of these other technologies are adopted more? And how soon might we actually see that come down? Because as these data centers roll out, as you see more of these 5 million gallons of water a day demands from these new data centers come up, it could put uh, water, water resources stra uh, strains even more on local communities in places like India and other parts of the world. Yeah, right. Actually, uh, that's why I mean, data center players have been very smart in, uh, you know, selecting the locations where they want to put the data centers. Where, of course, government is making such arrangements uh, for uh, the required amount of water. Of course, data centers consume a lot of water. You're right. I think the surge in the AI, the demand for AI workloads will happen gradually. It's not going to happen overnight. And uh, liquid cooling uh, mm -hmm. as a technology or the demand for water is also going to go up. Uh, I mean, in a phase wise, cities like Navi Mumbai, Mumbai or Navi Mumbai is very mainly where all the data center hub uh, are there in India. Uh, places like Telangana, Bangalore, I think uh, there has not been a very strong problem in terms of water. Government has been particularly supporting. Of course, we will need more infrastructure projects on that to meet that demand, right. but the growth will be steady. Uh -huh. uh, and I think it shouldn't be a bigger problem for India.